Hi guys, so today we will be decorating this glass jar and making it so beautiful. So now what I have got is that I have got this uh, cloth. So one thing I would like to tell that these things, this jar or even this cloth, I have not bought it from uh, exclusively for making this jar from market. I have got it this jar in from my trash only. I get my tomato ketchup in it and I usually throw it. So I thought that why don't I use it? And this cloth also, this is the sleeves of some of the my top which I don't wear anymore. So what I've done is that I've taken this sleeve and I've stitched it like this. So that if I, you know, if I do it like this, it will give a very beautiful effect. See? Now what I, we will be doing is that we will be decorating this upper boundary with hearts. Now for the hearts, I have done a very interesting thing. I have got these leaves. As you can see, they are very beautiful leaves of uh, red color. And now, and these three leaves, I have not uh, plucked it from the tree. They were fallen on the road and I picked it. Now what I have done is that using these leaves, I have made these hearts. Let me show you. these are the hearts i have see beautiful hearts see th this is giving such a beautiful color which you don't even get from the color itself and it has got shades see I cut as well so now what i will be doing is that i will be just uh, sticking these hearts here not much but i will be sticking like this or uh, we can have a rope like this and then we can just hang it onto that so we will see how it goes so now we would be decorating the upper part of our glass and for that what we are doing is that uh, i have used this thread and then with the help of this pin i'm putting inside these leaves inside it so that we can just hang it onto the surface so this is what I'm doing. So we are taking it like this. You have to do it for all the leaves. You just have to fold it and put it like this and make sure that the front part should be there it's not that you should not fold it you should only fold it like this and not the other way around so that the bright side we are able to see it so you can take as many leaf leaves as you want see now our very own uh, thread beautiful thread is ready hanging is ready I will just try to bind it over here, the top of our jar and see how does it look. Now nowhere one can imagine that it's from leaves, you know, it's not the red color on our paper. See? Now we are tying it to our jar, beautiful jar. Now just spread these hearts over to the jar. See, now I have tied the thread. And now the look is like this. From here you can see that, but now when, you, when we lit it, you not find it. Now we can use it in multi-purpose. You can put some you know, candle, little candle inside it. Or what I'm doing is that I'm using it to put my earrings. See? Like this. Beautiful way to keep your earrings. 